Her Royal Highness Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, chaired today a meeting of the SCW. Her Royal Highness valued the royal support of His Majesty the King to Bahraini women and to enhance their participation as a true partner in the development process of the kingdom. She said that Bahrain has made large strides in supporting and empowering women in addition to merging their needs in the government's action plan. Out of the wise leadership's belief in the importance of their participation and is the establishment of a society based on equality and effective partnership. Princess Abika bin Ibrahim outlined the achievements that has been made by the Council nationally, regionally and internationally, which encourages the Council to exert more efforts to achieve its goals. The SCW's meeting reviewed the steps undertaken by the General Secretariat in regards to royal decrees and ministerial edicts concerning women. The meeting approved the General Framework for Political Empowerment Program of 2016 to 2018 and reviewed executive steps related to Women Empowerment International Awards in addition to the outcomes of the events held by the Council throughout 2015. Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mullah received today at his office the Jordanian Labour, Social Development and Housing Committee of the Jordanian Representatives Council, led by the head of the committee, Abdullah Baydat, in the presence of the head of the Services Committee of Bahrain, Abbas Al Madi, members of the Jordanian Representatives Council, and members of the Jordanian General Secretariat. Al Mullah welcomed the attendees and lauded bilateral relations between the two countries and stressed the importance of enhancing unity and projects that support economic economic development, especially during the current political and economic developments, the decrease in oil prices and the measurements taken to combat terrorism. He lauded the brave stances of Jordan towards Bahrain, Arabic countries and the Palestinian issue, lauding the efforts of Jordanians who are living and working in Bahrain and their contributions in the progress of the kingdom in various fields. Jordanian Speaker of Representatives Council lauded the relationship between Bahrain and Jordan and then highlighted the importance of the decision taken by Bahrain to cut diplomatic ties with Iran, saying that this decision supports Saudi Arabia and all GCC countries. He also supports the measurements taken by Saudi Arabia, UAE and Sudan in order to maintain security and stability. On the occasion of the 19th anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard, the National Guard Chief Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized today the final stages of the National Guard's Chiefs Shooting Championship at the National Guard Camp's Shooting Range Complex. Upon arrival at the ceremony, accompanied by Director of Staff of the National Guard, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, he was received by senior officers. The National Guard Chief honored the winners of the championship and expressed his congratulations. Congratulations to all National Guard affiliates regarding the 19th anniversary of the National Guard establishment. He also expressed his appreciation for all their efforts in performing their national duty of serving His Majesty the King as well as the Kingdom and its citizens.
As part of the ongoing efforts of the Ministry of Interior to maintain public security and combat terrorism, the Interior Ministry announced that that terrorist plot involving a series of bombings has been thwarted. Investigators identified a terrorist group named Al Basta and have arrested several members on terrorist-related charges, which has strong links with leaders of the Iranian Republican Guard and the terrorist organization of Hezbollah. Investigations showed that the terrorist organization has strong links with Saray al Ashtar and a number of individuals involved in the Sitra terrorist blast on 28th of July 2015 that killed two policemen and injured six others. The two founding members of Al Basta are twin brothers Ali Ahmed Fakhrawi, 33, arrested, and Muhammad Ahmed Fakhrawi, 33, arrested. The Fakhrawi brothers set up the group as an armed wing associated with Al Wafa. Ali Ahmed Fakhrawi traveled to Iran at the end of 2011 to secure financial and logistic support for Al Basta. Once in Iran, he relied on his connections with terrorists in that country, closely linked to leaders of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and Hezbollah. Investigations showed that the terrorists had connections with Murtada Majid Ramadan Alawi El Sanadi 33, a fugitive in Iran wanted in a number of terrorist cases. Zuhair Jassim Mohammed Abbas 35, sentenced to life imprisonment on terrorist charges, arrested on the 18th of July 2013. Mohammed Ahmed Abdullah Sarhan 41, convicted in a number of cases, arrested on the 24th of May 2013. Hussein Abdul Wahab Hussein, 28, arrested. During meetings with the leaders of the Revolutionary Guard and Hezbollah, these suspects agreed to provide periodic reports on their activities and to account for how the money they received was being spent. They formed the armed wing of Al Wafa Islamic movement with the goal of disrupting the flow of daily life and hindering government operations using force and violence. The wing was also responsible responsible for recruiting new members and forming a clandestine central terrorist cell under the command of El Sanadi, who acted as a leader of the group and planned one of the bombings in Bahrain. Other arrestees in the case are Ibrahim Jafar Hassan, 29, Hamid Ali Mansour, 59, Muhammad Abdul Jalil Ali, 46, Muhammad Abdul Rada Hassan Al Jazeera, 28, Muhammad Ahmed Fakhrawi provided money to serve to several individuals to fund their terrorist activity using funds he received from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and Hezbollah. The money was transported by Qasim Majid Ramadan, 28, a fugitive, Isa Jassim El Ghafas, 34, arrested persons who returned from religious visits in Iran. Other suspects currently being investigated. In the middle of 2015, Muhammad Ahmed Fakhrawi again met with leaders of the Revolutionary Guard and the deputy head of Hezbollah in order to request an increase in funding for the group. Upon making a number of arrests in the case, the General Directorate of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science referred the case to the public prosecution. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated today a number of websites of the Interior Ministry directorates. The Interior Minister was briefed with the phases of creating the websites. The Minister affirmed the Ministry's keenness to implement its departmental strategies in all fields and hailed the remarkable efforts of the Directorate of Information, Technology and Electronic Creativity in creating such websites that aim to develop the level of services provided to citizens and residents.
As part of ongoing preparations for the 2016 Bahrain International Air Show to be held later this month, an emergency response exercise was held today at Sakhir Air Base in order for all responsible agencies to hone their procedures and coordination to ensure the safety and security of all participants. Daniel Deporto brings us more in this report. Ahead of the 2016 Bahrain International Air Show, being held at Sakir Air Base from the 21st to 23rd of January, an emergency exercise was held on site today to consolidate the logistical, safety and security preparations of all the responsible military, civil defence and governmental agencies. Our target is to, uh, to make sure from the readiness of the air base also to establish the communication with all uh, participants and organization and ministries and all our armed forces. The other thing that we make sure from the security and safety for the air base and participants, organizers and everyone on Sakhir Air Base. Today's emergency exercise, involving the triaging and evacuation of mock victims of a crash landing, was the culmination of months of planning within and between the many agencies responsible for ensuring the safety of all the airshow's participants. The live drill follows a comprehensive table meeting held earlier in the week to review and coordinate the commitments and procedures of each agency for all conceivable contingencies. We practice from level to level, from one team level to joint team level of all together. And we also exercise that on a tabletop exercise. This is the final and uh, I, am, I am very confident of my team to, uh, for uh, doing this exercise and uh, to carry out all the procedures in a very high standard and proficiency. Today's emergency drill has been staged to be as real as possible and clearly demonstrates the close cooperation amongst all the various bodies tasked with ensuring the safety and security of this year's air show, for which preparations are on target. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle DePorto. Very good evening. You're watching the Business and News on Bahrain Television. Temkin signed an agreement today with Mowgli Foundation to launch entrepreneurial monitoring services under Temkin's advisory services to support enterprises and individuals. Mowgli will train and, and match mentors with Bahraini entrepreneurs to support their businesses and help them innovate more products and services. The Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,209.75 points, a decrease of 0.28 points below last closing. The fall was in the investments and services sectors, but investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 81% of total shares. 23 transactions took place with a volume of 1,169,466 shares, worth 99,299 Bahraini dinars.